Hi, Crazy Web Hacker here. Today we are going to uh, alter this circuit of the Pokemon Go Plus. We uh, disassembled it earlier so that it auto catches Pokemon. I reverse engineered the circuit a little bit and I found out uh, that uh, this white connection of the vibration motor is directly connected with the slash of the plus pole of the battery. So I bet that the black connection here is uh, is connected to the minus uh, lash here if the controller wants the motor to vibrate. Furthermore, I found out that the, that the minus connection here is connected to these two poles of the button. So if the button is pressed, the minus connection goes here so it's basically a pull down uh, button so then in theory if i connect the connection of the black wire to uh, to the input of every time the motor is vibrating which happens usually in the case if there's a pokemon or a pokestop nearby so this would auto catch the pokemon or to spin the Pokestop. So let's try it out. Okay, I'm back after a hardcore soldering session and this is the product. Uh, what I basically did is I removed the vibration motor and soldered one tiny wire from this contact here to this contact of the button. So as I said, this should pull the button uh, down if the vibration motor would elsewise start to vibrate. I also have the battery here. Now I can test it. So let's build it together and see if it works. So let me remember. By the way, if you want uh, if you search for a video to disassemble this device, just check out my other video. So, okay, and it works now. Okay, I will uh, go and uh, go out and test it. So basically I went outside and uh, just let it run. I sat in the library of my university and uh, just let, leave it in my pocket and I got various items and Pokemon so it seems to work. So feel free to do it at home. Then you have an auto catch and a vibration motor which you can use for various other applications the ones you like maybe so this was it bye